Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was just getting ready to make some cookies and I thought, you know who I'd like to take along for that? All of you. And plus, I'll show you what I've, I've been, I, I can never aim off of, off of camera. That? <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't look at the camera and point to anything apparently. Uh, but show you what I've been up to with that. And also, I got some new jewelry in from Ana Luisa. And again, they have another um, promotion going on. So I thought I'd better pop on before Christmas hits, just in case you are looking for any gifts for a loved one or yourself. Uh, you know what? I'm going to show you that first, and then I'll show you what's all happening here. Oh, you guys, the struggle is real. I spent forever trying to figure out why my camera kept falling down off of the the tripod <laughs> and it ends up I was turning it the wrong way <laughs> I was so relieved when I turned it the other way and it just stayed <laughs> so today I just came back from work and uh, I teach preschool <laughs> it was a very busy day everyone is very excited about the holidays coming up uh, so you can imagine how loud that was and uh, exciting I mean they I just have so much pure joy <laughs> so, but i do have a migraine <laughs> so before i go to pick up abigail and jason from school i thought i better get some the cookie dough chilling because it takes two hours to chill but i noticed actually before i started filming that i'm already wearing my new pieces and i wanted to show them to you so um as some of you know i like to work with uh some companies that i truly actually like I wear I enjoy and when they have deals I want to be able to pass on those deals to you because who wants to pay full price I mean I do not <laughs> I don't <laughs> I ended up this time around what happens is uh, when they contact me I get to pick like 10 things and then they select which three they're gonna send to me but I mean I picked 10 things I loved <laughs> they sent me these uh, mini pearls and they're actual pearls did you guys know to tell if a Pearl is real if you scratch them on your teeth. Uh, that is not a good time feeling for me, but it will feel gritty like sand. Yep, that's real pearl. And then I also have this. I really like this one. It's just a single pearl on a gold chain. So they are, uh, the gold is a plate, but you know what I like? Not only do I not, I am horribly allergic to costume jewelry and this is a higher end jewelry like the plate doesn't give me a rash at all i mean <laughs> it has a little tmi but it's just the quality is really good so the other thing i like is that their pieces have the different um places where you can actually select to clasp it onto so it's easier for layering i didn't layer today because i'm wearing a t-shirt <laughs> so i wanted to be able to actually see it today but I really love these. They're great. And in my last uh, video, I showed, um, uh, I'll show you these as well. I showed you these ones that hang down. That's kind of like more of a teardrop shape. Those are fantastic too. And these pearls in my second hole with that teardrop, they were so nice. I could have done that today if I'd remembered I was doing this video. <laughs> uh, the other ones that they sent me, I'll do a closer, I'll do a close up of all this so you guys can actually see it. Go and take a look at their site though. Um, one of the things that I appreciate is when you're scanning over the pictures, it'll show you several angles of the piece that you're getting. So I have in every case, the things that come are nicer than what the pictures uh, look like. So even with the lighting and, you know, whoever their photographer is, generally that's not how that goes. But and in this case, every single time I've been pleasantly surprised, they're even better than what I imagined. So they also sent me these. Oh. Again, I'll give a much better close-up, hopefully. It's a little pair of huggy earrings as well. These are nice because it has a straight post, so they're so much easier to put into your ear. I believe these are stainless steel. I will put it, uh, I mean the post, surgical steel, sorry, not stainless steel. I don't react to these either. I, I don't think I can stress enough how much I react to jewelry. <laughs> these are fantastic. I've already been wearing this. Oh, I said good morning. Did I say good morning? It's afternoon anyway, so hopefully I just said hello. <laughs> so it's noon already. I've been up since six. And honestly, I can't even feel that I'm wearing earrings. That's big. That's big. So, um, 
it's nice to find a jewelry company like this that is affordable that actually has like they have this is the box it actually came in it comes in something that i can actually recycle so and for me you know what it's funny these these little bags that they come in the jewelry has i think i showed this before but they have these little um magnetic closures on them i'm using this for my christmas earrings after to pack them up <laughs> they work really great for gifts but I'm keeping mine to sort and organize all my earrings and stuff that I need that are seasonal. <laughs> I have seasonal earrings, you guys. But uh, some of the things that I really like about this company, their service amazing, their pieces are amazing. There's quite a few, I know on my channel, I show a lot of like more of the smaller pieces because I prefer kind of smaller jewelry, but they do have some statement pieces as well that are amazing. If I thought that uh, I would be pulling it off, it's just what I prefer. I'm sure I could pull it off. I would be buying those, but that's the only thing. Go and take a take a uh, look at their site. Right now they have, uh, I believe this is actually their biggest sale that they have of the year. You buy one piece, you get your second piece 60% off. I think on my last promotion, it was buy one, get one 50. So this is, I mean, that's fantastic. I think these are only $30 for an actual pearl earring. So I should double check on that. If you use my link, which will be down below in the description bar, it's shop Anna Luisa. Hold on, hold on. It's shop dot Anna Luisa dot com slash five one dash Melissa Archibald. <laughs> I will have it on the screen and in the description because that's a mouthful. <laughs> I'll have a clickable link down there. If for some reason it does not click, uh, you just have to highlight over top of it, copy, and then go put it in the a little internet bar so yeah with that i will come back i'll show you some of my favorite pieces at the very end i'm going to start those cookies and we'll get on with this all right you guys melissa from the future while i'm editing this, <laughs> this vlog i can't tell you how long it took me to look for this piece this piece because i wanted to show you some of my other favorites <laughs> i was wearing it today <laughs> oh so this one, you can see it on my other vlog as well. There's some better pictures. The little teardrop is one of my very favorites. Let me turn the, oh, these new earrings. I have some pictures on Instagram. If you go to Mel Archbold, uh, did, I think I showed the pearl one on Instagram, but I am wearing these. Oh, I'm wearing this whole outfit. Today was the day I took those pictures. I should, I should show you the list of pictures. Uh, of, it is hard for me to aim with my phone, as you know, you can see how shaky it is, while trying to take an Instagram picture. <laughs> I don't know how people do it. They are, I mean, people that get great pictures, I have so much respect for you. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. I'll show you two of my other favorites. I'm just in my room right now, so um, it's just on my bed, but I'll, I'll try my best to show you some that I really like. So this one, it's kind of hard to see. It's a little moonstone in a sun, uh, but those little decorative balls on the chain catch the light. I get so many compliments on this one. I like this one. And this one I showed in my last vlog. It's just a little circle, but this these look so nice together. That's another thing that I really like about the, the pieces is that you can layer them, you can wear them by themselves. Uh, even with this one, I'll wear it a lot of times with the little circle one. I mean, I, I wear them with everything. I didn't even realize I was wearing this one today. <laughs> I was probably like, what would look good with my little huggies? But yeah, same with the earrings. Like the little pearl ones look good with this. I have the, um, the teardrop ones. They are with my Santa Claus hats, but these teardrop ones... Wow, why is that so sparkly in here? My camera light must have gone on. <laughs> I don't have that kind of sparkle in my room. It's nighttime. <laughs> but those teardrop ones are one of my favorites as well. Uh, they have great jewelry. I really encourage you to go and check it out, especially even if it's not for Christmas, even just for yourself. It's just a great deal The buy one, get one 60% off. And if you're thinking about getting yourself a treat or somebody else, what a good time to get it. I hope that you enjoyed that little, <laughs> that little show and tell. And now 
we'll get on to the cookies. I have to make those cookies again, you guys. We ate them all. We ate them all. <laughs> While I'm editing this, I'm hungry all over again for them. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. So I had high hopes for doing an uh, old vintage recipe, actually, that my grandmother, I have quite a few of her recipes and everything, but that's not what we're doing. It's funny how life actually works. <laughs> I wanted to make some uh, gingerbread kind of cookies and I saw this recipe online so I'm just going to show you. I'm, I'm looking at it. I, I'll show you what I do. So first I like to paste it up. Usually I do it on the inside of the cupboard but we did not, not having anybody over. So I pasted it right on the cupboard. It doesn't get all dirty that way and I don't keep misplacing it. Uh, this one's called Chewy Ginger Molasses Cookies and who is this from? Oh yeah. Gimmesomeoven.com. So that way, I'll put a link to this obviously as well since this is not my recipe, but it sounds delicious. So I don't know what unsulfured molasses is. I'm using fancy molasses. I'm guessing that that's not what I'm supposed to use, but that's what I'm doing. And then here's the instructions, but I will have this down below so you don't have to sit and look at all that unless you want to. So also what I've been working on uh, I just have this sitting out, needs to get to room temperature. Still pretty cold, but I made some fire starters. So all I did is I used soy wax because that's what I had, and it also burns a lot cleaner. But if you have a traditional fireplace, or you're going to use them outside, you just find a little pine cone. I put some bay leaves in there. There's a cinnamon stick, some soy wax. I just shoved some, this is a soy wick, but... Uh, in the bottom, I don't know if you can see them. I also put cloves in there. Can't think of all that's in there. And this one I scented as well, the wax, but I thought it would make a cute little fire starter. All you do is you light it once it's in your, in your fireplace and it catches all your wood on fire, but then you have all the scents burning as well. So I'll have to let you know how that turned out. You can see my, my mess, but this actually, Turn, I mean, this was a very fast little project to do. The hardest thing was trying to keep those wicks up when I was pouring the wax in. I'm not sure how many of us have butter that comes like this. It's like in a big block, it's a two cup block. And then it has little uh, measurements on the side. I need a cup and a half. So all I do is I make a divot with my knife or a little mark, and then I know where to chop. But I have never, I haven't really seen sticks of butter. We get blocks of butter like this. Every time I'm watching online and they say, just a stick of butter. I mean, for me, that would be two cups. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. I think they're a quarter cup or something, right? I can't remember. See, I really don't know. All right, so we gotta start with the dry ingredients. And it is four and a half cups of flour. Somebody asked, oh, wait, maybe we should put on the light. Oh, yes. That's slightly better, kind of. <laughs> Somebody asked me, I must make a lot of bread since I have such a giant thing of flour. Let me show you this thing. I don't make a lot of bread, but I do teach preschool, and I have to make a lot of Play-Doh. A lot of Play-Doh, plus I maybe just do a lot of baking. I don't know. I don't know why I have such a big thing of flour. So four and a half cups of flour. Uh oh, make a mess. One, two. soda. It's a lot of baking soda. Oh god. Missing my teaspoon. It has this handy little ring, but somehow they're still off. <laughs> Let me go find that and come right back. Ta-da! Okay, what did I say? 
four teaspoons. Let me grab a butter knife. You don't want to go too crazy with that. It will taste bad. One. Tablespoon of ginger. Got the ginger here, ground ginger. Oh, I can taste that baking soda. I don't mind if the spices go a little bit over. Okay, what do I need now? Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Can I cut this out? two big teaspoons in. I like cinnamon. Okay, and then we need one teaspoon of cloves. I had to grind it in my little coffee thing again, but hopefully there's no big chunks of clove in there because that will be a surprise. Uh, and one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add slightly less than a teaspoon of salt because I'm using salted butter and it said unsalted. So so I called for a teaspoon of salt. I give probably about half a teaspoon of salt, maybe a little less than that because I'm using salted butter. So this needs to be whisked together and then set aside. Because next we're going to cream the sugar and the butter together. Oh, this already smells good. It smells very clovey. Yep, that smells delicious. All right, next. I almost forgot. I have been extremely lucky because I now have, oh look, I can't aim. <laughs> I now have the whole set. I had one of the, actually I had several subscribers send me the pieces that I was missing and I can't even tell you how amazingly surprised I was and just thank you so very much everybody that helped me out with that. So, on to the rest. I have one and a half cups of salted butter. It's still a little bit cool so I chopped it up into little cubes and to that I need one cup of sugar and one cup of packed brown sugar. Well, when you think everything is great and working good, <laughs> my brown sugar was hard. So I got as much as I could, but there's still some lumps. I mean, somebody might hit a chunk of brown sugar in their cookie. I think they're going to live. It'll be fine. We'll see if it's fine. <laughs> I know there's bakers out there probably like, mm -mm, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so that's gotta go in, sorry for the ride. Now we're gonna beat that for about two minutes, I believe, until it's light, fluffy, and all incorporated. So you guys missed where I dumped the sugar all over the floor. So I'm gonna take care of that as well. I'm gonna come back like it didn't even happen. <laughs> I'm a messy cook, you guys. I'm a messy cook. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, but then da, 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 and yeah, that, that needs to be taken care of. All right, it's getting there. So now I need to add uh, two eggs and half a cup of molasses. Secret with molasses, I'm sure you guys all know. If you 
coat your measuring cup with uh, cooking spray first, which I didn't have, so I'm just gonna do it like normal. Uh, it just comes right out. You don't have to worry about having sticky molasses all over the place. So I'm gonna mix in one at a time and incorporate it before mixing in the next. All right, so now I'm gonna gradually add the dry mixture into the wet. So now I just need to wrap this up and it needs to chill for two hours, at least two hours or until completely chilled through. Otherwise, if we were just to roll these up and to cook them, they would spread way too far out and be way too flat. So you want this thoroughly chilled before we get ready to bake them. This was a thick dough. I thought I was, I thought old Betsy here wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> it's, but it's ready to be chilled. Well, that was perfect timing because I have to go and get the kids. Uh, I'm just trying to, you guys, I have a quick question for you that have KitchenAid mixers. I have something weird with mine. Is this normal? I mean, I think we all know it's probably not if I have to ask, but. <laughs> so I did clean a lot of it off. Mine does not tip backwards, which would be lovely to be able to tip it. But in between like here and also here, I was just scrubbing it out, but mainly around here ends up getting this oil. So every single time I use it, I make sure to scrub that all out, make sure everything's nice and clean all over again. But does yours get that all the way around? Gross. Yeah, this is the one that I have. It's been doing that for a really long time. Like, I mean, eventually you would think that whatever that oil is uh, would be running out. I mean, I think I've had this since Winnipeg, which means that it's been over 8, 9, 10, 11, 18 years. It's been 18 years. It's surprising. It is surprising how fast time goes. <laughs> Let me go and get the children and then we will be right back. You guys, for, before I go, you know how cold it is here? It's not even that cold yet, sorry. You had a, you had a view of my toilet. <laughs> I try to make sure the bathroom's closed because nobody wants to see my bathroom. <laughs> Maybe you do, but no. <laughs> Uh, it is minus 30 today Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but burr, like you do not want to be outside. It's not terrible, but I mean, oof. it's not shorts weather. That's for sure. Usually when it snows, like you can't see it, it's misting ever so lightly the snow, but usually when it snows, it warms up the snow. So I don't know what's coming, but <laughs> Oh, yep. That's the remnants of the kids' snowman. It, it melted almost completely away. And then Stephen was trying to do ice sculptures. That's the little path that I dug out for the dog because he wouldn't go to the washroom. Actually, it was like over his armpit level for the depth. So I don't blame him. <laughs> so I shoveled him a little path to the tree in hopes that he doesn't go anywhere here. No, no. I'm hoping by the tree because then I can find it and you know I don't need any nuggets of surprise. <laughs> nuggets of surprise. I'm classy. <laughs> Hi, I almost forgot to keep filming. So my sister called and she said I am on white mud, which is a road in Edmonton, <laughs> and my wipers have stopped, my heat has stopped, and I'm not sure what to do. And I'm like, if you can get to my house, at least it's somewhere warm and we can try to figure this out. Somehow, at the end of all this, I got a visit with my sister. She had three of her kids with her, so we got a little bit of a visit, and uh, she got it somehow. She started and everything was magically working, so she has an hour drive still to go, and hopefully, 
you got it's a little slippy outside so hopefully she made it home safe um but i am i made her the first batch which i did not film i sent home with her of the cookies but i'll show you quickly I'm sure you guys probably know it's pretty easy so far oh that's my stove telling me that it's preheated <laughs> hold on so i took the cookie dough out of the fridge this is freezing cold you put like one inch cookie balls i just rolled them and then you roll it in sugar until it was completely coated this is hard to do with one hand it's probably making you guys dizzy but then you put them on the cookie sheet you put it into a preheated 350 degree oven and it said eight to ten minutes mine took between 10 and 12 minutes as soon as it oh sorry i didn't notice the light <laughs> As soon as it starts to look like there's cracks on the top, you take it out and put it on top of the stove. You keep it on the pan and uh, you wait four minutes and then it continues to kind of crack and um, almost further cooking, I guess, complete the cooking process. Then you take it to a wire rack to completely cool. You do another batch, but this is my second batch now. So I didn't even try the other ones. I sent her home with 12 little cookies. <laughs> I don't even know if they were edible. Big surprise, it didn't film again. But I got this much of the cookie left to give you a taste test. <laughs> They're good. They're a little bit crunchy on the outside, just around the edges. And they're nice and chewy. Not really like a cake-like texture, but like delicious, chewy cookie. <laughs> what did you think, Steven? They were really good. I was not expecting to be on camera. Surprise! Yeah, surprise. You're welcome, thousands of adoring fans. <laughs> he smiles. I have another batch in the oven right now. Cooking away. Yep, so the way I told, I knew that they were done is they started to crack on the top. Then I took them out and put them on a rack. I mean, after four minutes, I put them on a rack. So they're small, but delicious. All right, I hear the alarm going off. They are starting to crack. I'm gonna give it one more minute. All right, now they're way more cracked. I'm just letting them sit on the pan for four minutes. This one has a dent in it because these ones were rolled together and when I tried to take it apart, I put my thumb into it. Yep, oh, it smells good. So I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. Don't forget to check out my link below for the Ana Luisa Jewelry. <laughs> jewelry. You buy one, get the second 60% off using my link that's on the screen. But if you go into the description bar, just down below, there'll be a clickable link for you so that you can get the deal too. And this is the one that I picked for myself and I love them. It's, it's great. I don't know why I'm not standing in front of the Christmas tree. I have like this fantastic prop. <laughs> Oh, make sure to comment down below or write me at archboldvlogs at outlook.com. Let me know if you did end up picking anything out for yourself. Also, if you have a recipe that you would like me to try on the vlog, as long as it's not fish, because I'm that person, you guys. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> uh, hopefully, maybe I'll get a chance to try it out for everyone to see. So with that, have the most wonderful day. I hope I will see you in the next vlog. Bye everyone.